Well, today I'm visiting a little place. It's kind of quaint and rustic. It's called All About Sweet. And I've known these owners of this place for about, oh, about 10 years. There's indoor and outdoor seating. Today is beautiful. It's a lovely day with a nice breeze. It's a great day to be alive in Chiang Rai, I can tell you that. That's the ordering area and the kitchen. There's a bloody dog that's scaring old George. There's a lovely outdoor area. Kind of a garden. You can pretend you're an Indian and do some whoop whooping. Well, the coffee here was very good. Uh, I didn't try the food. They do a fusion food here. It's a kind of a mix of Thai and Western. So, all about sweet. Well, good day, folks. It's Ray here, living my best life in Chiang Rai. And um, I've had a few requests, particularly from Jeff and Shadmo. So today I want to do a shallow dive into health insurance. And I'll start with a short ramble, then show you some policies and costs. Even though hospitalization is cheap in Thailand compared to Western standards. Any serious inpatient treatments such as surgery or cancer treatments for example can be expensive and put a huge strain on your finances. Retired expats with an OA visa now must show health insurance documentation to be eligible to renew their extensions. Note, please, only OA visas have mandatory insurance. The O visa does not. As I've said before in different videos, the OA visa you can you will get if you apply for your non-immigrant visa in your home country. You'll get an OA visa. If you come out to Thailand on a tourist visa and then convert it to a non-immigrant visa, you will get an O visa. Okay? Big difference and a big difference in costs of insurance as I'll show you later. So, expats who wish to obtain a non-immigrant OA visa from their home country will need to show evidence of a health insurance policy that covers the holder for at least 100,000 US dollars in patient costs at a minimum. This policy can be from an insurance provider in your home country or one in Thailand. However, an important point to note is that when you apply for your yearly extension at immigration, the policy must be from an approved Thai insurance company. That's just something to be aware of if you're considering purchasing a new policy before traveling. Okay, so how do you obtain a policy? If you're in Thailand already, the easiest option is go to an insurance broker and have them do all the legwork for you. Alternative, you can look at websites of various companies and use their online tool to obtain a quote after entering your details. Then choose the provider which offers the best plan and the best value. Be careful when choosing your policy. Take care to examine the fine print, particularly the exclusions. Another important point to consider is the insurer's reputation, as many will do their utmost to avoid paying any claim, legitimate or not. It's now fairly easy to research companies with online review sites being very popular. Taking your time to select the insurer and policy that matches your needs will be time and money very well spent. But consider your odds also. If your hospitalization is due to a pre-existing condition or complications caused by a pre-existing condition, you may not be covered. Now that doesn't matter whether you were aware of the pre-existing condition or not. If you had it before you took out the policy, it's a pre-existing condition. Now look at me. I have diabetes and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And a doctor friend told me that everything else being equal, the chances of hospitalization being due to one of my conditions is 90%. Is health insurance a good investment for me or would I be better off putting the money into my savings and self-insure? Choosing a policy can be confusing. 
So if in doubt, head to an agent who will assist you every step of the way. But be careful, don't take his word for everything. Check out what he's telling you. But for now, let's look at some of the coverage details and the costs of the policies. First, I'll show you the coverage right, and cost okay. required for an OA the, visa. Uh, then I'll show you the cost uh, and coverage for an O visa. Policies. You'll see there's a vast difference. The here are from Thai Health Insurance, PLC. So we have two, uh, two policies listed here, what they call their 3M policy, which I think means 3 million, and their 5M policy, which I believe means 5 million. And the total coverage on the 3M is 3,450,000 baht. On the 5M, it's 5,600,000 baht. Inpatient, they will pay up to 1,950,000 1, uh, 1, for the 3M, and for the 5M, they will pay up to 2,600,000. And those are the those are the major bits. Um, Medical fees on the 3M program is uh, 150,000, on the 5M it's 200,000, and we should talk about room and board. Um, on the 3M they'll pay up to 15,000 baht per day, and on the 5 million it's 20,000 baht per day. However, both of these are limited to 60 days. If you stay longer than 60 days, you start paying it. Um, and the ICU unit is um, uh, 30,000 per day on the 3M program and um, uh, 40,000 per day on the 5M program. And once again, this only lasts, they only pay it for 15 days. Uh, most of the other stuff you can see for yourself. Um, personal accident, well that also covers death and dismemberment and blindness. Um, emergency evacuation, that's to repatriate your body if that's what you want. Um, and you have a deductible on the 3M policy of 150,000 baht and a deductible on the 5M policy of 300,000 baht. And if we look at the premiums, for someone 51 to 55, the premium for the 3M is 69,216 baht per year. The premium for the 5M is 84,501 baht per year. And if we go down to the last age I checked, which was 66 to 70, the 3M was 137,832 baht per month and the 5M was 168,401 baht per month. Now note, this is, uh, this is only renewable up until age 70. Uh, if you're age 71, you cannot buy the policy. It can only be done by renewal. So, get it in before you're 70 if you want to do that. All right, now let's look at what uh, you have for an O visa. Of course, you can get more insurance than these, but I want to give you an example. Uh, and I'm going to look at, we're going to look at uh, three plans on here. I'll only discuss the most expensive one. So there's the SP4000, SP6000, and the SP12000, which is uh, the, the top policy with uh, the company where I got this information, which was Simply Health. So, on that policy as an inpatient, the coverage is 1,560,000 baht. For room and board, you can claim up to 12,000 baht per day for a maximum of 60 days. Now, m most hospitals that you would go to, short of something like Bum Run Grad in uh, Bangkok, uh, are going to be somewhere between three and 5,000 per day uh, for, a, for a private room. The ICU cost, uh, they will pay 24,000 uh, for a total of 15 days. Um, medical fees, 40,000, uh, sorry, uh, 120,000. Uh, for the physician fee, daily, uh, 3,000. 
For an organ transplant, should you need that, they will pay up to 360,000 baht. Uh, for surgical expenses, 180,000 baht. And for emergency evacuation, interestingly enough, theirs is the same price, uh, 1 million, it's the same 1 million, uh, as we had in the uh, OA visa, which cost a lot more. Okay, look at the premiums, 51 to 55, the 40,925 baht per year, 56 to 60, 46,709 baht per year, 61 to 65, 58,360 baht per year, 66 to 70, 81,663 baht, uh, baht per year. And once again, this policy is only renewable um, after age 70. So if you're 70 years old, you can buy it. If you're 71 years old, you cannot unless you want to be on it. Um, you know, I think it's pretty plain to see that if, you, uh, if you're not a wealthy person, uh, it's best that you don't get an OA visa and that you come on an O visa where you can buy insurance that is more suited to your budget. Um, anyway, that's a decision only you can make, so that's where I shall leave it. If you want more details on the coverage and exclusions of these policies, I have included links to the web pages in the description. After seeing these numbers, I had to wonder about a few things, but I'll leave it to you to decide what I was wondering about. Anyway, help us grow. If you like the content and want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Give the video a like. If you have any questions or comments, they are greatly encouraged. Put them in the section below. Thank you.